Today, I want to talk to you guys about Shark Bite from Fat Shark, and specifically the news that there's going to be a new race VTX, which is on its way, the update on the new digital goggles from Fat Shark, as well as the news from the Ardra Pilot team that they are adding canvas mode support, which means you can get that extra OSD info when using it with Shark Bite as well. Now, the first thing we're going to jump into is the news about the new VTX. Now, over the last couple of months, Fat Shark have been releasing info on a fairly regular basis of what the situation is with their development and what it is with the system. If we jump over to this week's release, you can see that they are talking about a new VTX as well as their new Scout HD goggles. They've announced that there is a new VTX called the TX5R.1 with the picture as below and we'll take a closer look in a second, which has been designed specifically for racing applications. It is a 20 by 20 mount unit with a secured MIPI connection and a secured UFL connection as well. And they're saying it is the most robust shark bite transmitter that has been made to date. It also has an impedance match UFL to SMA pigtail included, and they're going to be getting this out into the market in the next couple of weeks. Now, if we jump in and just take a closer look at the actual board itself, as they've shown, it does have a rubber isolated 20 by 20 pattern. However, the board is actually larger than 20 by 20, and it's a rectangular shape. And this is quite unusual compared to any other VTXs that we've seen out there. It's going to be interesting to see how this holds up in people's frames and how it's going to fit into those frames overall, because I do see this being a problem for some and it's going to be very very tight indeed. What is to like though on this board is the fact that we have some secured connections and improved connections overall. So for instance we have a secured UFL so what it is they include a bracket with some nuts and bolts which allows you to secure the UFL connector in place. I have seen one or two comments from people on this saying it's a bit fiddly to do but I don't really have an issue with that it's just good to see that we do have a secured connection now because that UFL is really easy to rip off the board. They're also going to have a secured MIPI connection as well and it's good to see proper connections rather than direct board soldering on this one so they're going to include a harness as well which will make installation a lot easier overall. The overall design of the board is quite nice, single design, it's just a bit odd on how this setup is actually done and it's going to be interesting to see how people get on with it as it is going to be fitted into their frames. Other than that, that is really the news on that new VTX. They haven't said what the power output is of this new model at this time. However, it's expected to be about 200 milliwatts, but we're going to have to see. Further to that, they've also talked about their new HD FPV goggles. Now, these are going to be their new goggles with Shark Bite built in. Now, currently, obviously, Shark Bite is a module that bolts on the front, like I've got on my older set of Fat Sharks here. However, they have been working on a new design which has Shark Bite built in. We didn't know up till now what type of goggle it is, but the fact that they've now announced that it's going to be called the Scout HD gives us an idea that it is going to be a box style set of goggles. Now, what they actually say is that they've scheduled to start their pr production verification testing starting next week. They have had some teething issues sourcing the 1080p panels, and they've also had some issues with heat as well. We don't really know much more than what's being said here, and it's going to be interesting to see does these new goggles have analog built in the standard as well and what other features they have too. I think we're going to see HDMI out but we don't really know what else. But it is interesting that they are moving it along and it is moving forward. Now there really isn't any more news on the Shark Bite system side of things other than that. There are no new cameras at this time and there really hasn't been any more other info around new receivers yet. They are working 
on that new higher power receiver. But here and now, in my opinion, what we need more than anything is more cameras because we're starting to see them fall behind a little bit in that area. There has been a lot of talk around this week around this camera here, which is the new Runcam Mippy. However, this isn't compatible with SharkBite. It isn't officially compatible with DJI, but it does work with the DJI Digital FPV system. But unfortunately, it doesn't have the authentication chip that allows it to work with SharkBite, so it doesn't work at this time. People have been asking about, well, where are the other cameras? And I do know Runcam put out a bit of a message earlier saying they're more than happy to make more cameras for SharkBite, but we're not seeing anything actually land in the marketplace. It would really be nice to see some new cameras for the SharkBite system, and let's hope we see that over the next couple of months. Now, that is pretty much all of the news on the SharkBite system itself. However, there is news from the Ardra Pilot team, and that is that they have added Canvas mode support, and it's currently in testing. Now, just to be clear, this is not in the public release of Ardra Pilot yet. MSP support has only just been added to the 4.1 betas, and Canvas mode is the next step behind that. Now, I do have a test copy here, which we'll take a quick look at before the end of the video but just jump in again over to the internet and we'll go on to the forum Alex who has been the developer who has been really pushing this forward has put a statement on Ardra Pilot talking about the support for MSP DisplayPort or Canvas mode as it is known as it has been implemented in the dev builds and it is available to be tested now. They are looking for as many people as possible to get on board and test this. So if you are interested, do check out this post. I will put a link to it in the description. You can message Alex and they will try to put a build together for your specific controller and you can give it a shout. Now, it's really good to see this happening. It does only work with the latest firmware, so you do need to make sure that you do have that latest firmware in place on your SharkBite system. However, it is available and it is working. Now, what I'm going to do now is just quickly jump on just to show you it in action. It's only going to be on a controller, which is just on the bench, so there's going to be very little real-world info, but it is really just to show you that it is working and the kind of information that is available. So I've now got the SharkBite receiver set up and connected to the goggles, but it's actually outputting via HDMI to the display. So for instance, if I press this, bring up the menu, you can see that we've got SharkBite working on the screen and that's all fine. I've then got a cube purple, which is the cube with the dev build of Ardra Pilot installed, and we've then got the SharkBite transmitter. So what we're gonna do now is jump back onto that screen so you can see that. We're gonna power up the SharkBite VTX first of all. We're not going to power the cube quite yet. We'll power the cube in a minute. So we're just powering up the system and you can see that SharkBite has come to life. You can see me on the screen. There we go. That's all working as we would expect it to. But as you can see, there's no OSD. What we're going to do now is power up the cube on the autopilot. So again, I'm just going to plug the USB in for that. Wait for it to power up and then once the cube boots, you should then see the OSD information appear on the screen as it starts transmitting MSP. There we go. You can see that it's kicked in and we've got all of that nice canvas mode OSD available on the display for us. The brilliant thing about this is that we're getting all of the warning messages, all of that stuff that you don't get with the basic MSP, especially on DJI. But as you can see, everything is showing nicely. If I move the, the uh, autopilot around, you can see that we've got the line in the center moving as well. So we've, it's nice. We've not got ladders, but we've, we've certainly got readout from the autopilot. We've got our voltages, but again, there's nothing connected at the moment. So you're not seeing it. Our GPS, our modes, our satellite count, and everything you would expect to see. So it's really nice to have this feature in Ardra Pilot. It's really nice to see it available. And again, this is currently only in the dev build, but it will be coming to Ardra Pilot in the near future. 
Now that is it for this video. It was simply to talk about the news on the Shark Bite system. Now, I don't have any more info on this system other than that. Unfortunately, I don't have any contacts at Fat Shark. They haven't even replied to my emails when I have reached out to them. So all I can share with you guys is the information that I see online, as well as what I do know is going on with the Ardra Pilot team as well. A massive, massive thank you to Alex, who has been doing the work on the MSP, which supports both SharkBite and DJI Digital FPV, as well as this new canvas mode support as well. He's doing some amazing work and we would not have this support in Ardra Pilot if it wasn't for him. Now, just to quickly mention on that canvas mode thing whilst I'm at it, that only works with SharkBite on Ardra Pilot. It does not work with the DJI system. The reason is there is no canvas mode in the DJI Digital FPV system. So canvas mode is only working on SharkBite. There is nothing the Andra Pilot devs can do to make it happen on the DJI system. It is something DJI would have to implement as part of a future update. I'm not aware of that even being on the table, but none of us really know what's around the corner sometimes and it could release tomorrow, but I have no info on that actually happening. Anyway, that's it for this video. If you found it useful, please do consider hitting the subscribe button. If you'd like to support the channel, please do consider hitting the bell as well. That way you'll get updates when we release any new videos. There are links to buy me a coffee as well as Patreon in the description as well. So if you do like what you see, please do consider supporting us that way as well. The chances are when these new goggles actually come out, I'm probably going to buy a set because this system is on loan to me. It is not my own, but I will probably going to try and actually get a set of the Fat Shark ones when they actually release and hit the market. Now, that's it. Please stay safe and I will speak to you guys again soon.